I'm starting to look, you know, hopefully I find something, but just, you know, next stage, next stage of my life. My kids, I don't know what's going to happen, but be prepared. <laughs> it's going to be different. <laughs> when we set out at the beginning of this year, we had a, a couple of major goals as far as this last year of sugar production. One was obviously finishing this last year, getting the production and the crop through. And we're about 70% um, as far as production levels. Um, just as important was managing the transition of our employees. You know, having, again, as we started the layoff process, uh, providing for our employees to transition to new lines of work, um, retire if possible, you know, if their situation allowed that, as well as get them uh, involved with whatever training opportunities, you know, are out there that they're interested in. And um, we've been very successful in that so far. Um, we've been able to place well over 100 of the employees that have been laid off um, in other employment or they've transitioned in some way to either relocate for other job opportunities off island or retire in some cases. So, you know, those have really been our, our two major focal points when we started the year, finishing up the crop uh, and then transitioning our employees. And I think we're uh, well on our way to doing both. Uh, kind of saw it coming with all these no burn days coming at us. I mean, the last two years, I've never seen so many days of unburned cane. It just, yeah, there's no way you're gonna sustain this kind of operation with those kind of days. So, I was just hoping to get six years more, then I can retire. <laughs> well, that didn't happen, so I gotta go find a job. So, well, Waluku Sugar, my grandmother lives across the street. I had an uncle was in charge of the first power plant. My uncle Mankon. Uh, Kaloi. So, the valley already looks different. You know, it used to be green, now brown. So it's, you know, you remember when Pioneer River went out, what happened? They had all those fires up there, I tell you, it's... And we got raging wind over here. They didn't have that kind of wind over there. Next year, I don't know how they're gonna... It's gonna be a tough one, you know? It's gonna be tough. And in the drought we got now, whoo! I mean, it's... Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how that turns out. You know, we're working on diversified ag. You know, that's got the potential, but we're, it's, it's a transition. 36,000 acres, man, it's a lot to, in one year to get something on that. Just, you know, and I, I know we're working on it. You know, that side we're doing pretty good, the cattle. So this side they got, you know, sorghum, corn, you know, all different bio crops to try it. But they need to get more in production, but it, that takes time. So it's gonna be a, yeah, interesting <laughs> to see what happens. But.